Regular viewers will know that soft tissue resection with nail surgery is one of my favourite things what I do. So this young chap called James came to see me in the autumn, had a long term ingrown toenail that had been problematic for a few years, went through various courses of self-treatment, antibiotics from the GP to manage the paronychia, and really ended up with some long term thickening of that medial sulcus. So we wanted something definitively done for it. And while a partial nail avulsion with phenolization would be fine, there's some residual chronic swelling of the medial fold. Now, if you took the nail surgery section out medially, I suspect that tissue would, res would resolve and resorb over time. Apologies, it's not completely in focus. But you can see the, the issue and why he's had recurrent bouts of cryptosis, despite the nail being cut very well, by himself the majority of the time that skin is just in the way so you can see why some authors say the nails not really the problem anymore it's the soft tissue that's the problem so it would be reasonable to do a soft tissue resection on that a la Bose or van den Bosch say um, eagle eye views will see that i wrote a little something on this back in our professional journal in the spring of 2021 with my colleague nicola burt so we had a little look at sharp resection of hypergranulation tissue. We really looked at taking away when there was true hypergranulation tissue concurrently with nail surgery. And we did a bit of a look review and surprisingly found very little. Um, I've continued to look at the, the research, having published this in the spring and found a few more papers. So one of the papers that we we quoted was was Kang was a Korean paper only unfortunately the, the abstract is in English so I, I'm struggling to uh, uh, translate the rest of it but that's clearly a piece of work that needs repeating and in fact um, we've started that as a pilot project with my local University of Northampton and then there's various other papers that look at combining some form of nail surgery with some form of soft tissue resection so there's a uh, a, a paper combining a, a hemi Howard Dubois there's a there's a technique combining with just a nail resection without finalization so clearly it's something that I'm a fan of and I think there's more that we can do in this respect so coming up PNA but with some soft tissue resection Skin's being cleaned with chloroprep, which is our typical disinfectant, and then local anaesthetic using 0.5% chirocaine. I've just taken the sound off at this bit because all you could hear is clattering from the background while my assistant was opening and closing drawers. Sorry about that. So James, any sharpness in that toe there now? Uh, no. What about the other side? Uh, nice and done. Okay. Tourniquet going on, guys. Tourniquet along 10 or 7. Okay, so we're just going to do. Are we still in shot there, Nina? Yeah. No James, how are you doing? You don't need to fifty me just because the camera's on, but I prefer <laughs> that you did. So we'll just do this. I call this a little alligator roll. Oh. And that takes the nail out. So let's have a look. Oh, a little bit. Show a little bit. A bit sharp at the side, James. That's why the trouble is a little bit of a, uh, okay. of a sharp jag. So rather than mm. having a little bit of a natural bend. So that's that's fine, but we took those little pictures before. You can see all that swelling. It's not a yeah. bad one, but it's just nice just to get this skin oh. just a little bit sectioned down. And then it just heals in nicely. Yeah. And then that can go. Do you want to send this to the No, screen? so... Oh. I mean, fun, funny enough, we talked about histology on a course I was teaching the weekend. So that's clearly just a bit of skin. Yeah. But there is an argument 
to send it away for histology. Then, three minutes of that, I normally use two times 90 seconds. And we'll leave that in for a few minutes. Okay, and then what we'll do, we'll see. Still in shot, Nina. Hmm? Still in shot? Yeah. Cool. And um, we put a big old bandage on, James, because you can get a little bit of bleeding afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. The good news is everybody stops bleeding eventually. It's proven medical fact. We know about these things. You should, really. Do you have had any training in biology, James? Mm, not quite. Uh, GCSE was the last time I did okay. sort of biology. So do you know, if you took all the arteries, veins and capillaries <laughs> and the, in the human body and spread them out over a, over a, 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 a football pitch, you'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> it's true. It's science, guys. I don't just make this up, you know. <laughs> so James, we'll see you back tomorrow. Yep. Okay. Couple of painkillers today. Mm -hmm. Make it. I'll put some sticky on there. Put your finger. Put a bit of sticky on there. Awesome. Kushti, any questions, sir? Um, no. All right. Thanks for the vid. We might edit some of that out. Yeah. That was, that was super cool. So my typical practice is to get patients back at one or two days post procedure particularly if I've done some sharp resection because there's a potential for bleeding, particularly with the more hypergranulation tissue cases. James didn't bleed much at all, but he was back the following day with the nurses for a change of dressing. And this is in two weeks when he's come back to see me. I'll do a close-up. As you can see, we actually did both feet. Um, clearly, it was the left foot we got in shot rather than the right for the video. But you can just see the, the soft tissue has been resected nicely. So while the PNA with phenol is likely to give a good long-term cure, I think the soft tissue resection gives a better cosmetic appearance and I think probably helps it heal a little bit quicker. As always, thanks for watching guys.